I, I guess what, what's the balance like for you and wanting to kind of keep some continuity uh, and keep things similar last year and kind of build on that, but also want to implement your own concepts, ideas, and, and, and add your touch to this offense. Yeah, you know, I, th I think there is a good balance there. Obviously, the, the continuity of being here helps me uh, with the language and the transition of getting everybody on the same page from a communication standpoint. We're really in the in the phase of laying our foundation right now and, and seeing what guys can do for us and uh, cultivating some of those competitions. And so I think we'll get more into the differences in scheme down the road. Uh, Gentry? Yeah, Todd. Um... You know, I'm curious how you feel like as you step into this role, how you feel like you're different from from when you had the role in Oakland and what you take from that experience is now you take over a different offense. I, you know, I think every stop along the way for me in my career you know, has, has taught me something. I've been able to glean a little wisdom, I hope, from each stop. And uh, the trip in Oakland is no different. You know, my time in Minnesota, both stretches and everything in between. Uh, you know, hopefully I've grown as a coach and I'm always looking for ways to improve daily and, and certainly from year to year. Uh, so I'm looking forward to the challenge, but I do think they're, they're individual uh, entities. You know, I, I don't think you can compare uh, one to the other and, and say they're apples to apples. So each one's going to bring its own challenge and I'm excited for the challenges of this one. Uh, yeah, what's up, Coach Todd? The the experience that you have, right, and, and, and being an OC for Jack Del Rio and being on the offensive staff for Mike Zimmer, defensive coaches running the football, being, like, very efficient is important. How much do you kind of bring that to, to this situation, coaching for another defensive uh, coach, if you follow? Yeah, you know, as I was uh, – just discussing, I think each stop along the way has, has given me some new insight and, and I can uh, certainly rely on some of those experiences to maybe see around some corners or, or predict things a little bit better. Um, you know, but each, each boss and, and each head coach I've worked for has their own personality and style. I think Coach Brable does an outstanding job of casting vision and laying out our, our plan of attack, and I look forward to helping reach those, those visions. Uh, Teresa? Todd, uh, taking over this offense, though, how much, and you already talked about your continuity and, and knowing the scheme, having been tight ends coach, but uh, is it pretty simple that uh, the offense has to, you know, kind of work around Derrick Henry? That How much does that maybe make the job easier, tougher? It's certainly a, an easier job having Derrick Henry back there than, uh, than not having him back there. But, you know, we're always looking for ways to get our playmakers the ball and, and to be efficient. And certainly we know that Derrick's one of our playmakers. Our offensive line works extremely hard uh, to open up holes for him. And, uh, you know, I think that uh, it's no secret that that's, you know, part of the identity of this offense. So I'm looking forward to finding ways to make sure that Derrick's utilized. Uh, Paul. Hey, Todd. Uh, good to see you. Coming out of uh, the tight end room, I know uh, Anthony's worked hard uh, on the blocking side and Jeff on, on the pass catching side. When you're in 11, how are you not telegraphing what's coming uh, with one of those guys on the field, given that, that Anthony's such a good pass catcher and Jeff's such a good blocker? Yeah, it's a good question. You know, when I was the, the tight end coach, we really um, had kind of a battle cry of versatility in that room. And I think that that's something that is required of NFL tight ends these days is to have some versatility to you. And and I agree. I think Anthony's been working very hard uh, in his run game techniques and fundamentals. And, and I know Jeff in, in his pass catching uh, prowess, if you will. Uh, but we're going to ask those guys to do it all. And, and we're going to try to do our best to not Tip any hands uh, based on who you have on the field. Uh, Bob? Hey, Coach. Uh, specifically, what, what are you looking to accomplish with your group during this portion, during this phase of the offseason right now? Understanding that you've been a coordinator before, you've been through these kind of things before, but it's just a little bit of a different role with this team. I think we're in the phase right now of just laying the foundation of the scheme, you know, what, what our bread and butter concepts are and some of the techniques uh, that we ask the guys to use within those concepts. 
you know, and, and also it's a great time of competition. There's, you know, a lot of guys out here fighting for spots and it's been fun to see those guys uh, grow each and every day and, and just the energy and, and kind of the sense of urgency that some of those guys have shown. So, you know, there's some, uh, some personnel competition and there's some schematic, you know, laying the foundations, uh, but it, it's been fun to be around all the energy out there. Uh, hey, Todd, a question for you. There's a lot of speculation about potential additions perhaps the offense could make, but as is currently constructed, do you feel comfortable that this offense, the talent on it, is good enough? Yeah, I, I'm excited again about the competition we have at the at the different spots uh, on offense. And, you know, my job is to coach the guys that are here. And uh, I'm doing that at, to the best of my ability each day. And and I think that you're going to see some growth from some of these guys uh, competing. And excited to see where they finish up by the time we get to the real ball. And if I could just follow up, uh, Josh Reynolds uh, coming in and, and getting more of an elevated role. How much do you think there is left for Josh to accomplish or more that he can accomplish than perhaps his role with the Rams set out for him to do? Yeah, I think he's hungry. I think he knows the game, uh, has a pretty good savviness to him and football IQ and excited to see where he can increase. And I think there are a lot of guys that are in a similar boat that you know, we're going to find out what they can do with their opportunity. I, I always think there's room for growth uh, wherever you're at in your career. Uh, and I think Josh is, is excited to – try to make some strides. Uh, John Ryan. Hey, Todd, I know you've uh, touched on this, but is it a difficult line to watch, to, to walk a little bit? You know, I'm sure as a new offensive coordinator, you kind of want to put your stamp on the uh, on the offense, but at the same time, there's been a lot of success running the similar scheme for the past few years. So how do you, how do you balance those those two things? You know, I think there's some some tweaks and adjustments that go on in a system, even when the coordinator uh, doesn't change. And I think that's a natural progression at this point in the offseason to you know, take a, a look in February and even in March at, at what we did last year and maybe some things schematically that we want to adjust or you have some changes in personnel. And so you, you lean a little further away from one thing or a little closer to another. Uh, and so I'm not as caught up in you know, putting Todd Downing's stamp on the offense as I am coming up with what the right recipe for the ingredients we have uh, is and, and, you know, making sure that we're as competitive and consistent as we can be. Uh, John Burton. Hey, Todd, uh, piggybacking a little bit of what Jared asked you about, obviously we know the rumors and speculation out there, but given where you are is currently constituted, how about your – wide receiver room as a whole. Obviously, you have A.J., but uh, where you're at currently constituted, how comfortable are you and how confident are you in your wide receivers? Um, I'm very comfortable with the level of competition we have going on there. I think we have a, a wide variety of skill sets and, you know, excited to see these guys kind of take opportunities to step in and, uh, you know, get some extended reps and Fired up to see where it goes. And like I said, the energy has been great. The attention and detail and the focus, you know, is improving every day. And excited to see where those guys uh, finish up. Thank you. Uh, Luke? Todd, where do you see A.J. Brown fitting into the offense this year? And, and what's sort of the next step for him as he continues to develop and grow as a, as a really good player in this league? Yeah, I think, you know, AJ fits into that playmaker category that we were discussing earlier with Derek. And, you know, those are guys that you look for ways to get them the ball and, uh, you know, rely on their strengths and, and you know, hope that they can uh, continue to ascend just like everybody else. You know, I don't think there's a guy on offense that we feel like has arrived or is a complete product. And it, uh, AJ is uh, going to continue to work very hard uh, to improve in every area he can and excited to see the production he can have for us. Uh, you talked about not wanting to put your stamp on the offense, but it seems like in today's NFL, it's very important to put to tailor your offense to your quarterback. How much are you interested in putting more of Ryan Tannehill's stamp on the offense and how much communication have you got has had already since you got elevated to OC? I think there's a, a natural communication that has to occur, you know, with the starting quarterback and coordinator, and that's been fun to, have that relationship develop 
uh, even further here in the last few months than it has in the last couple of years. You know, uh, fortunately, felt like I had a pretty good relationship with Ryan uh, prior to being elevated. And so that's uh, that's been a smooth and easy transition. Hasn't taken too much effort for us to get on the same page. Uh, Ryan's a tireless worker and he's a guy that uh, you know is going to look for every way that he can gain a competitive advantage. And so it'll be fun to kind of leave no stone unturned with him in this process and, and try to get things refined down to you know, the best best system for our talents. Uh, ben Arthur. Hey, Todd, is there a, a pressure that comes with following Arthur Smith and just the success that he had in Nashville? And then just kind of in, in addition to that, what, what did you maybe learn from him um, that you think will kind of help you as you take on his, his former role? You know, I think there'd be a pressure if, if I looked at it as my job to fill Arthur's shoes. Uh, but I, I think each year is its own year. It has its own challenges, its own components. Uh, you know, and I think that I look at this job uh, more as what Coach Brabel and, and John Robinson uh, asked me to do to fill it this year, not to be Arthur Smith or to be anybody else uh, for that matter. It's it's my job to be the best best version of me and the best coordinator for this offense I can be. Uh, and so, you know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to stepping into the moments and, and figuring out ways that I can improve and give this team my best each day. Uh, hey, Todd, uh, Johnny's athleticism allowed you guys to create some, some favorable matchups. With him gone, is, is Darrington a guy who can fill some of those roles for you to create some of those? Well, we're going to give everybody an opportunity to show that they can win one-on-one uh, -on -one matchups. You know, and, and certainly John who made some great plays for us, uh, but I'm confident that there will be people uh, that step up and make plays, uh, you know, with their opportunities. So, it, it's wide open. The competition is real, and, and we're excited to see who can go win uh, consistently one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, we've got time for a couple of follow-ups. Uh, Paul? I uh, wanted to go back to uh, AJ, if we could. Uh, obviously, without Corey and John, who coverage will, will be different. Uh, you talked about giving everybody a chance to beat one-on-ones. It's unlikely he's going to see many one-on-ones. How do you anticipate things change for him in terms of the coverage he sees and uh, and what kind of challenge is that? Yeah, well, I think you're right. I think between, you know, our run game and, and you know, AJ's, uh, you know, success in the past, you're going to see some different looks. Uh, we'll, we'll look for ways to, to get him singled up. We'll look for ways to uh, help him with, with different uh, coverage indicators and things like that. Uh, but, you know, I think that'll be fun to watch progress and see where we can move him around, uh, you know, or, or uh, expand his drop tree a little bit, and, you know, uh, watch him have successes as we, uh, as we expand it. Uh, Jen. And I'm going to go with two quick hitters and one question here, Todd, I guess at, at the running back position behind Derek, what have you seen from Brian Hill and what's that competition like behind Derek and then at the quarterback position, how much improvement did you see from Logan Woodside last year? And was Deshaun Kaiser able to do some things to help him compete uh, this offseason as well? Yeah, so starting with the running backs, you know, I, I think the, the prevailing word would be professionalism. You know, those guys have done an awesome job preparing, uh, being ready to, to step in and show their abilities here uh, throughout the offseason thus far. You know, I think Brian's done a nice job. He, he certainly has a great play demeanor. You know, you can tell he loves the game, uh, but that fits right in line there with Jeremy Nichols, who, you know, has, has worked his tail off for us. And Darrington Evans, you know, Kari's been stepping in and any role we've asked him to do it. You know, I'm really pleased with that room and uh, excited about how they've shown up to work this offseason. Uh, as far as the backup quarterback situation is concerned, you know, it's two really hard workers, two guys that, you know, fall under that, uh, that old adage of gym rat. You know, there are two guys that love getting in here and, and watching film and going through plays. And, uh, you know, they're very self-critical. Uh, so, you know, it, it's been fun to work with those guys, and I'm excited to watch that competition unfold as well. Uh, last one, Tom. 
Yeah, since we're uh, doubling up, I'll do the same. Uh, first off, the, the versatility of the receivers, right? A.J. Brown, Josh Reynolds, and even the young fella, Des Patrick, being able to play all three positions. How important is that for you guys as far as moving them around? And then also your prior experience with, with Rob Moore on, on your staff and you guys are together now. How much will that help your message really be delivered in that receiver room? Yeah, you know, I think uh, that word versatility that we were using talking about the tight ends uh, with Paul's original question, I think that carries over into the wide receiver room as well. The more you can do for our offense and the more jobs you know, uh, the more opportunities you'll get to play. And I think that, you know, some of the names you mentioned as well as the rest of the group, you know, uh, really embodies or embraces that, you know, working, working your plug me and play me uh, mentality. And so, you know, I think as, as you have more pieces that are versatile and you can use uh, in different positions, it just helps open things up, uh, you know, for everybody else. So uh, we're excited about that. As far as uh, Rob Mori, I consider it a huge blessing to be on the staff with him. You know, I've been with Rob many years, all the way back to Buffalo together in 2014. I would say that if if there's a, a big advantage to being on the staff with him, other than just the implicit trust I have with him, it's that he can kind of be the Spanish to English translator. Uh, you know, if, if there is something new that we want to implement that we did uh, you know, together in the past, I think he's done a nice job of saying, okay, you know, this is like this, um, you know, and try to help those guys uh, you know, kind of shorten the learning curve, so to speak. But, Rob is just an awesome guy along with the rest of this offensive staff. We're very fortunate to be with the guys on the